My psychiatrist talks about her more than me, which is really interesting. Do you feel you get more from your psychiatrist or Dr. K? I get more drugs from my psychiatrist. I feel like Dr. K, I think of Dr. K as, you remember when, when Aang went and traveled to the air temple and he had to go talk to that one guy Petal. who taught him about his chakra? Who he would like learn about his chakras and his like, to open up his chakra levels and, and to make it flow like a river. So that way he was able to go into the avatar state. Monkeyatsu. Was it Monkeyatsu? Or no, it was Guru, Guru Pathic, wasn't it? Guru Pathic? That's what I think of him. I think of Dr. K as someone that more enlightens me and tries to make me do more natural things. When a psychiatrist makes you get a lot more pills. Like when I went to my psychiatrist today, she just kept talking about putting me on pills. She's like, oh, why don't you try this? Why don't you try that? Why don't you try this? Why and I don't want to do that. Because I don't want pills. I want to be fixed naturally. Because I don't even think I'm that bad. She's like, oh, you should go on this pill. Why don't you try this? You know, take two of these and call me in the morning. I don't want that. And is that really not how it is in the EU? Because in the NA, that's, that's what you get. No? Yeah, I don't like that at all. At all. They, she was wanting to put me on Adderall, or like an Adderall-type substance, and I'm like, fuck no, I couldn't do it. This is not working, right? Like mental- This is not working, right? Like mental health is not working. There are challenges that people face. There are wait lists to be, see therapists. There are people who feel disillusioned. There are people who go to see therapists and they get diagnosed with depression. They get given a pill and sent home because currently the, the compensation structure of medicine is to prescribe as much medication as you can if you're a psychiatrist if you want to make the most amount of money. Insurance pays about $200 for me to sit with someone on average for one hour and talk to them about their feelings and try to help them understand themselves. Insurance also pays me $150 to spend 15 minutes with that same person and prescribe them a medication. So I have a choice as a psychiatrist. I can see four people and prescribe four medications and make 600 bucks an hour, or I can talk to one person about their feelings and make 200 bucks an hour. Right? That's the world we live in. This is not... <clears throat> I mean, it, we all knew that, or at least anyone that knew anything about money is, of course, if you sell pills, you make way more money. $600 an hour is a decent salary, I guess. It's nothing crazy. What is that? An affiliate? It's not really that bad. But what do you want me to do? I guess these EU viewers are still awake. What do you want us to say? Huh? What do you want us to say? The NA healthcare is fucked up. And... We just take pills for everything. Is that what you want us to say? We like money and we take pills. And that's all we do. Dr. K has helped me a lot, you know, and I do like Dr. K because I feel like it's more genuine. Like when I saw the psychiatrist today, I didn't feel it was as genuine. I did feel like there was almost like a motive to get to get prescribed things. And I don't like that. I have I, sh I think I need to see more of a therapist than a psychiatrist because I don't want pills. I don't want to be living a life on pills. I want to, I'm not that bad. I, I'm really not that bad when it comes to mental health. I was six months ago, not now. I feel a lot better now than I do six months ago. I just do. Cat me all you want, but I know, I'm, I know myself and I know I do feel a lot better because six months ago or like up until October, um, I, I, I had crazy anxiety. I, and I never had anxiety in my life. It was really scary. Like I wouldn't be able to sleep. We would try to go to bars, and then I wouldn't be able to go to the bars because I, I... The only way I was able to go to a bar is if I drank before, so I didn't... Like, I would drink before so I wouldn't have anxiety to go to a bar. Like, what the fuck is that? And... Uh, I, I'm glad I went to a doctor. And I'm glad I started working out. And I'm glad I started to... Uh, I, I just feel better nowadays. Six that hundred dollars an hour would be twenty four two hundred and twenty four thousand dollars as a full time worker, forty hours a week. Dude, people aren't prescribing pills four times an hour, forty hours a week. I don't think. Okay, they have to eat food too. I'm pretty sure. I'm not. I'm not too sure. 
I don't know. They are. What would you guys do if you were doctors? Would you guys prescribe? You don't know these people, right? So would you guys, would you prescribe people tons of pills and shit like that and be a fucking millionaire and be rich as shit? Or would you really try to help some people? Because you got to think about yourself. You're a doctor. You're in a ton of debt because you went to college. You had to go to multiple schools, right? You have hundreds of thousands of dollars in debt now. So now you are fucked. So are you going to try to make that money back? Or do you really believe that you are in the job for helping people? Which is interesting. Like, do doctors... Do a lot of doctors go into the field for the money? Or do you think a lot of doctors go into the field because they actually care about helping people? Me personally, I feel like a lot of doctors go into the field because of money and because that's really it. I don't think most doctors go into the field for anything else or, or go into the field for actually caring about helping people. I think a lot of them also are sociopaths. Maybe I'm way out of it, but... I think a lot of them do it for almost like an edge over other people. Is that wrong for me to think? Or am I just projecting?